All right, as Kenya celebrates its 50 years of independence, one significant festival will be making its comeback to the sports calendar after 10 year absence. The Kenya Air Show will take place on the 14th and 15th of December, where pilots will get to showcase the skills in what is perceived as the air version of the Safari Rally. If you thought this was not for the light hearted, then what would one call this? Fortunately, if you are an adrenaline lover, then you will have an opportunity for an experience of a lifetime when the annual Kenya Air Show makes a comeback on the 14th and 15th of December at the Wilson Airport. I know we're going to cause a little bit of disruptions at the Wilson Airport, but we're working together to just make sure they're minimal. Meet Christian Strebel, the CEO of Yellow Wing Air Services, who has had the privilege of taking part in previous air shows. We all practice a lot before. Safety is, of course, paramount. But it is actually very much fun because you can do landings on one wheel, you wouldn't do that with passengers. You can pull up, as you've seen in the video, you can pull up, you can't do that with passengers. The last of such shows was held 10 years ago and the anxiety is palpable. The festival will give pilots an opportunity to showcase their skills and stunts they would ordinarily not perform when carrying passengers. Treble, however, says he will be skipping this year's festivals. In this particular air show, I haven't had enough time to train, so I'm going to fly passengers, which I know very well how to do. Mm -hmm. And like in the safari rally, where drivers earn points, the participants of the air festival will not be competing for any prize. Because you want to have a good performance with safety in mind, but there's no score whatsoever. But I did want it as a best uh, uh, as a best pilot. One stage, they gave me a little cup. and said that was the best performance. The festival will be held over two days as part of the Kenya at 50 celebrations, thanks to sponsorship of 10 million shillings from East Africa Breweries through its Tusker brand. Lynn Washira, KTN Sports Today.